Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, I'm Orgasmo, and today, tonight, I'm going to show you guys how to do some candy surgery. Um, this is going to be an extremely long video, so you guys are going to have to bear it with me. Basically, the entire idea here is I'm going to take this panel here, this one, and cut and slice and dice until I can come up with one of these. Um, I was a pretty big fan of the way that my coat ended up overall, but this ended up being a little bit too wieldy for the most part, so what I wanted to do was make two of these. Okay. Now, you can't just cut right down the middle, it won't work, but what you can do is you can cut on the ends and then tie off a knot over here in this row right next to the black and hide the knots and I'm gonna show everybody how to go ahead and do that today so this is probably gonna turn into a big huge hunkin fucking mess as candy surgery usually does so first one I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna give you guys a basic idea on how it works, okay? Um, I have some patchwork inside of this, so it's, yeah, it's, it's not going to be easy, but it's definitely doable. So what I'm gonna first going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut along here. And I'm going to start taking out some beads. Um, a good thing to do whenever you're doing this is to have a space or something dedicated to uh, where you're going to put your beads as you're taking them off. Me, I'm going to use my top hat, as you can see here. And I'm just going to dump them right inside. So, put that over here. And I'm going to go ahead and take off just the first two rows. Now, some of this is done without knots, and the parts that aren't are going to be a lot easier to work with. The parts that do have knots are going to give me a lot of fucking trouble. So, take these off. all the way down to here. Okay, let's see. Now I'm going to take off two more so I can expose some more string. I'm just going to make one cut. lot of knots in this. I forgot that's how I did the end of this piece. So, let's see. Oh, see, yeah. See how more is coming off than I was initially anticipating? <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be like this for a lot of it. As far as making stuff out of candy goes, this is one of the biggest pains in the ass of anything that you could possibly fucking come up with. But, once you have string that's coming out of where you want it, like right here, that's when you can tie a knot. So, normally I'm not a big fan of knots, but it's either I do this and restring the entire thing, or I can save myself an immense amount of time and do it like so. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take two of the pieces of string and tie a square knot. Make sure it's really tight. And then what I'm going to do 
So I'm going to take one of the ends of it, string it back inside, so that way I can hide the knot. The string might have broken on that, and I think it did. <laughs> it happens. I've used this string. The string in here is a little bit old, and some of it may or may not actually be stretch right. But even my wonderful stretch right has its limitations. So I'm going to leave the top of that and go on to the next portion of this. Because I sure as shit am not going to edit this video. There's too much damn footage. I don't have enough time. So. I wonder if, yeah, I think I can just do that, well, maybe not, I'm just going to take off the rest of this stuff, yeah, Yeah, I've actually already done surgery on this one, so it's going to be even more magnificent and painstakingly difficult. Okay. So this one, instead of doing the two rows, I'm just going to do the bottom one. Or the top one, rather. So that way I end up with exactly the correct amount of beads that I need. A lot of this is really difficult to explain, and I'm going to try and do my best to explain this, but this is going to be uh, basically an expert level video slash tutorial here. Okay, so for this one what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to tie the knot and hide it inside this top one. So, let's see, square knot. Push the end that's closest into the blue bead here. Pull it as tight as I can. And cut the other end and there. And then I'm going to go on to the next row. Keep on moving down, moving down, and moving down, moving down until I get to where I'm going to make my knot again. It's just going to be these two. Now this time I'm going to do my best to try and hold it a little bit. I'm going to tie my knot up towards the upper bead because that's going to be where I'm hiding it. Time to square knot. Push the piece through. this technique is it's still really less than ideal. Um, 
You can still see the knots on closer inspection, and generally speaking, I don't like to do it. But I'm hard pressed for time currently, and I have a lot of other projects that I'm currently working on, and I just want to get this damn thing back to where it will shape the condition. on going down two beads at a time putting the beads in my receptacle which happens to be my hand and I'm going to do the exact same thing again Now, you can do this on anything that you want to. Um, I recommend getting some slightly better scissors than the ones I have right now. It's a good thing I have better ones. They are a little bit bigger, but I guess that's okay. Yeah, this <laughs> is an extremely long and arduous process. But the end result will at least have saved me a little bit of time. When you have really big projects, there might be a time where you're going to find this useful, presumably. And I've actually had a few people that have asked me about this. There are actually a couple of different ways you can do this. Um, one of the ways, actually, is you can just right through the whole damn thing. Um, the first time I did this, I did that, and it was a fucking disaster. Straight up, it was a disaster. It was a huge pain in the butt. It was really hard to find out where the strings went. And it created even more of a mess. Believe it or not, this is actually pretty mess free um you can also in this particular circumstance i could also unstring the entire thing and then just restrain it and i'd be able to reuse both the string and the beads um every time i cut this string those two end pieces are useless you can't use them for anything else except for i don't know I'd really 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 small ass little projects where you need a little bit of string but they're pretty damn far and few between I don't like working with really small pieces of string because it causes a lot of wrist strain and you can only do it for so long Everything that I try and explain and go over with techniques in all of my tutorials and whatnot, they're meant for long term. So.
guys. So, what I'm going to go ahead and start doing now is just tying them off instead of cutting them that way I can save a little bit of time so you guys can get an idea of what the end process looks like or I suppose you can just skip to the end of the fucking video if you really wanted to it's always an option I suppose When you're doing this sort of thing, you want to give yourself a lot of extra strain, really. If you try and do this on a piece that's too short, like for example, if you tried to do this on, let's say, you only wanted to shorten it by this much. You can do it, but it's gonna be difficult. And it's gonna be really, really hard on your fingers. I mean, of course, that's gonna be really dependent on what kind of string you use. Um, obviously, I'm really partial to my exact string that I use. But yeah. Okay, uh, I'm gonna show you the other way that you can do it, which is just by cutting off like a bunch of it, so you guys can get an idea of what it looks like. Okay. Let's see. It's already just starting to unravel the entire fucking thing. Let's see if you can see. And I'm trying to be really gingerly with it because I don't want the whole thing to just come unraveling. But because of the fact that it's stretch right, the entire thing doesn't just unravel really quickly. Once you pass through about six beads, I think, the tension itself will hold. If you tried doing this with, like, fishing line and you had something, the entire thing would become unusable. So, those of you guys that, those of you guys that use fishing string, I strongly recommend doing this if you pulled it really tight. Because, yeah, it'll basically just create a huge mess and it won't work. If you did it one line at a time, you might just be able to. I don't have a whole lot of experience using fishing line. I'm pretty partial to the stuff that I use. But I would say that it probably could work. See, this is, yeah, you see when you cut multiple pieces at a time, it really, really wants to just unravel. And what you can, just start unraveling, taking the whole thing off. this is it not it's definitely creating more of a mess as you can see first and foremost it's 
sound of beads flying every fucking which direction. make sure that this tension stays that way you don't want to have to go through and retighten it because it's it's a mess why I create extra work and then see how it's already starting to come undone right there yeah that's why I always do it two rows at a time because now once you get down here to the part where you have to do your knots you have to tie it off to the new Really careful not just to start unraveling the rest of it. There's probably some background noise from my landlord uh, watching the current charger save going on right now. So, for that, I do apologize. I hope you guys can at least hear me throughout this entire thing. I've kind of been talking down, so I'm not really entirely too sure. But hopefully, you guys will be able to get the gist of it. Okay, so... Here we go, another knot. Ooh, okay. Well, this... It's a little bit interesting, because of the way I tied it off before... There's going to be two knots in one of the beads. I don't really like that, but... I think I can make do. Also, let's see what happens. Okay. In this particular circumstance, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my needle through that knot. A lot of times you'll hear like a little click. I don't mean strings where you want it to go. Okay.
some of these knots are already coming outside of the holes. Like, to be honest, this is probably gonna look abysmal. Um, like I said, normally I don't do this. There are certain circumstances where I feel compelled to. And on some projects, it might become necessary. You can also hide these knots, like, if you were to do, uh, like, joining two patches of peyote, all of the stuff on the side will be carefully hidden and you'll never see any of it. So, that's also something to consider if you were going to go ahead and do that. Um, that's probably going to be my next tutorial. Sure. I try and make the tutorials as detailed and complete as possible. There are a lot of tutorials out there, and there are a lot of people that do them. been filming for about what, half an hour. I'm not even, I don't know, not even halfway down. It might be a third. Yeah. Long process. Still, it is slightly easier. Okay. Let's 
see here. About 31 minutes in. And I think from here, I'm going to go ahead and put on some music and go nuts with this. I'm going to keep filming. Probably end up speeding this portion up. So. I won't be doing any more talking. Anyway, I will see you guys on the other side when I'm done with this.